for Pulse Notify to work, we need to connect it to a Facebook application. So I am already in my Facebook developers account, but I'm just going to go to um, my Facebook and show you guys exactly how to do this. And you will find it under this developer. This is on the left hand side for me, but I think Facebook has changed their um, new layout. So it might be on the right hand side for you. But wherever you see this developer tag is where you can create your applications. You'll go on create app. And then click create new app and I am creating an application for this new website and the reason I'm doing this is because your app name and your app namespace cannot be the same so something has to be different about this so I'm just changing the C to an X and then I'm putting a photo because this is going to be a photo website and then continue You'll need to put in this just to verify. Continue. And now we've created our Facebook application. Awesome. So the first step is done. And now if you go into your Facebook settings tab, you'll get all the information you need to input into Facebook in order to get your application to work with Pulse Notify. And the first one is app domains. So we'll just go and we'll find it here, app domains, copy it and paste it over. Sandbox mode has to be disabled. You're going to select website with Facebook login and you're going to put in the site URL. The site URL is also here. And then you're going to select app on Facebook and canvas URL. We just copy it. And then the secure canvas URL, you'll see in Pulse Notify, we have two options. We provide an SSL for you. So this means if you do not have SSL on your domain, if you're not paying extra for an SSL, you will not have it. However, if you are paying for your own SSL on that specific domain, you should be using this link. But we've given it to you, so we're actually making this accessible for you, so you don't need to pay for an additional one. So we just copy-paste this over. And then we need to make sure that the canvas height is fixed at 800 pixels. So we just change that. And then Unity integration enabled must be disabled. So there we go. We're going to save changes. And now note that your changes may take several minutes to propagate to all servers, which is fine. So now we need to connect Facebook to Pulse Notify. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy in the API key. And you'll see here, this is the AP app ID. I'm going to copy paste. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm just going to copy paste it in, make sure there's no white spaces, yep, that's working, and then our app secrets, which is this one, copy, make sure there's no white spaces, and then I'm just going to click on save changes, your app key will be put in automatically by Pulse Notify. Okay guys, that's how you connect Facebook to Pulse Notify. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.